Um, yeah. So you had your got your gold medal uh, at the uh, in the four by four in Birmingham, mm-hmm. and then you got this wonderful silver medal in Doha. Yes. And <laughs> everybody's blown away about how fast you moved over that last hundred. Right. Can you take us through that race again and just kind of tell us what was going on in your head. Right. So. I mean, at the beginning of the race, of course, going into the race, um, I remember my coach at the time just asking, um, I was wondering what it, what race plan were we going to do? And he just said, you know, just do what you want to do. And that's what I went, that's what I did. I went back to my childhood. Um, and you know, when I was younger, I used to, I, before I started kind of moving a little bit small more running a little more smarter i used to always go at the 200 which is uh-huh. tiring but i yeah. would a hard kick from the two you know um or at wow. least gradually into it and so you know at that time um i knew i didn't want to be 57 i didn't want to be going through the first lap that fast um yeah. just because i know what type of runner i am and I didn't realize how far back I was. Um, and so once they started picking it up, going into the second lap, going to the 300, you know, that's when things were moving a little bit. And I realized, oh, you know, they're actually moving. They started moving a little earlier. And then um, I just remember I had a point in my mind before I ran the race that I knew for sure just going through rounds where I would get tired and where I wanted to go. And that's when I just went. Um, cause I knew that I didn't want it to be too much into the curve because, because the straights were so long. So mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure it was a little bit going into the straight, if not on the straight, because I knew the straights were really, really long. Um, and so once I hit that mark, that's when I just went. Did you feel people coming back to you over the last 75 meters? No. Um, I, if anything, I, starting back to you. I, if anything, I just had a lot of faith, um, <laughs> into that last hundred, um, just because they were already into the hundred when I was coming off of the curve. Um, mm-hmm. and so all I could do is just, you know, trust God and have faith, um, that I, that I did at the end of the day, what I wanted to do. And I ran the way I knew I could run. And that's what resulted in me to getting so close to the pride. Did you, had you raced against the, the two young Ugandan women that uh, did so well? Did you ever race? I ran them? against, um, I might have ran, I think I ran against both, both of them at Monaco maybe. Okay. Um, yeah. But I knew okay, for yeah. sure I ran against uh, Winnie in the Diamond League final. So okay. I, I believe Winnie ran more than, um, I forgot um, the winner's name, but Win- Winnie, I saw Winnie more um, okay. during the season, but they both ran in Monaco, I think. 